Welcome to the e-learning for Sage UBS on the topic of the purchase order. The purchase order functionality allows you to record a purchase order now but have the general ledger accounts updated at a later time when you record the purchase invoice from the supplier. This topic demonstrates where and how to enter purchase order information in Sage UBS 2015. This is a sample of a purchase order and the following are details required on a purchase order. Company information, which is your business. Supplier information for reference including address. A serialized order number together with the date and the purchase order header clearly shown on the document. For ordering goods, there needs to be the appropriate description of the goods, the quantity, unit price, and the discount if any. Thereafter, the total amount at the bottom. Now that you have understood what a purchase order would look like, we will show how easy it is to create a PO in our products. Create a new PO, in Sage products, PO numbers will be assigned automatically if auto numbering setting has been set to active. Notice the important serialized PO number and also the PO date. Select the supplier. Note that all the necessary information is already filled. Next, select the goods, the quantity and the price. Apply any discounts if applicable and then review the GST code applied. If your system has been set up via the GST wizard, the GST code will automatically be populated for the conditions of this purchase and you will notice that the amounts are all calculated automatically. Once complete, save the purchase order. You may print purchase order once you are clear that it is the final tax purchase order. Here we will print a purchase order, and we review the format available. It contains all the required parameters of a tax purchase order and there it is. Thank you, and have a nice day.